Ads here from Herman Hitzer Road. You may be aware that motorhomes and camper vans and even caravans are in demand right now across UK and Europe because everyone's doing staycation. And what this means is that a lot of them are going missing. A lot of them are being theft, uh, stolen. Theft? Uh, so it's a great idea to increase the security in your van. Um, we've just purchased a tracker. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set this tracker up. It's only £45 on Amazon and there's no subscription. So in the box, you obviously get the tracker itself. Uh, it says Winnis on the front here, but it also comes in another brand name. You also get a little pouch, a little bag, um, which you can fit it in and carry around with you. We probably won't be using that. Uh, you get the instruction manual in various languages. This is quite a complicated read and there's a reason why I'm doing this video. If you read it, it sounds quite complicated, but once you get into it, it's quite simple. Uh, you obviously get a power cable as well. This is just a USB micro cable. And you also get two SIM adapters, one for nano and one for micro, and you get the little thing here for pulling out the, um, the SIM card. The first thing you want to do is go and purchase a SIM card. Now you can't use any SIM, you need to get a 2G or GPRS SIM. So this is the old technology, not 3G, not 4G, it's the 2G technology. Uh, I tried my EE SIM in it from my own phone uh, and it didn't work. Uh, so instead I bought this. This is a SIM from GIFGAF. It is 2G and GPRS. Uh, it is a pay-as-you-go and uh, it comes with five pounds free credit. Now what that means is you need to top it up first and you get uh, an extra five pounds on top. Um, I got this from Amazon for 49 pence, uh, but I think you can actually get them for free from uh, other places. So what you need to do is follow the instructions on here to activate the SIM, top it up, and then you, got, you get yourself a phone number. That's the phone number you need, which is going to be used for your GPR, uh, your, uh, your tracker. So once you've registered the SIM card and you've got your phone number, you can either use the uh, adapters that they give you with the tracker, or you can just take it out of the uh, packaging as it is. Once you've got your SIM set up, uh, pull the flap, pull this rubber flap away from the tracker and you can put your SIM in there and there's a little click and now it's in. Now when you actually push it in, that is what turns on the tracker. So after a few moments, the LED lights will display. Um, I've got a blue light, solid blue light and a flashing yellow one. In the instructions, a solid light means no GPRS signal. A yellow flashing light means GPRS signal connected. Uh, the solid blue light means no GPS signal. We we're in, in size, so that's probably what that means. But a flashing blue light, which is now what I'm getting, is a GPS connected. So now that is actually ready to go. So I just need to close the flap. And that's it. So that's the hardware setup with installing the SIM. And we know that it works because of the flashing lights. Uh, now we need to set it up to tell it what device to talk to and what device you're going to get messages from. So to do this, we need to send it text messages. So you have your phone number from the registration. So we enter that as a recipient. Then you send the text message to it using your own phone. Admin 123456, followed by a space, and then your phone number. You send that, and after a few moments, you should get a message back to say it's OK. So if you wanted to find out where your tracker is on a map, you can send a message to it, G123456 hash. And after a few seconds, should come back with a message. There you go. So we got here, we have the longitude and latitude, 
the speed, we have the time, uh, we have the percentage of the battery, we have an ID, and we have this link as well. So if I hit the link, Google Maps opens up. And there we are, that's where we are right now. Because we are on a campsite, which is marvellous. That's where the tracker is. Uh, yes, we're on Grafham campsite at the moment. There is also an app available. Uh, you can download that by using the uh, the barcode in the document, in the, in the uh, instructions. Um, now, this is a lot easier than it actually says in the instructions I found. Uh, so you just start the uh, Winners GPS up. And now uh, what we have here, it's asking us for two things. It's asking us for the IMEI ID, which you'll find on the back of the tracker itself. Now you type that into here and then the password, which is by default one two three four five six of course you should change this as soon as you get into the app itself hit done and now I'm actually in the application itself if I hit the real-time tracker I'll be able to see that on a map it gives me instructions about where it is the speed direction it's traveling and all that kind of thing which is awesome because that is exactly where I am. From here, you can also check out the historical route. You can put a geofence in around the around the tracker, so meaning that you'll get an alarm go off if your device mo device moves out of a particular region. You can change the alarm, which are you can see here we can see when um, if there's a vibration to the device so maybe someone's uh, driving in or knocking into it or trying to get in uh, when you have an alarm here for low power um, or when it's entered an area or leaving an area that's the geo tracker ge the geofencing so that's the tracker set up and uh, ready to go uh, all I need to do now is hide it somewhere well, I couldn't decide where to put it in the end. Um, I hunted high and low for a really good secure spot in Herman, uh, but in the end I decided to hide it in plain sight. Uh, so that's it. How you set up this uh, Winnis tracker. Um, I found it fairly easy. The instructions do go into some detail which you probably don't need, uh, but uh, I found it quite simple. The, 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 the hard part, was realizing that the sim isn't good enough isn't is too good i suppose you could say you need a gps gprs 2g sim uh, once you get over that it's the rest of it's quite simple so uh hopefully uh you've uh, you've this has encouraged you to purchase a tracker and if you want this one then uh there's links in the video description below and uh if you found this useful, please do give the video a thumbs up and maybe, just maybe, it's encouraged you to subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you do, don't forget to click that notification bell to get updates on our future videos. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.